Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here from ActionFigureFury.com bringing you another video review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Ripley from the Alien Reaction Action Figure line from Super 7 and Funko. I've already looked at the Alien and Kane, and I still got Ash and Dallas on deck for review. But let's take a look at Ripley. Ripley comes packaged on the standard blister card packaging that we've seen the other figures come on. Obviously she has her name on the upper left and the Alien logo centered nicely in the middle. And then you got a screenshot from the movie on the background different from the other cards which is really really cool um, got her package inside there the accessories loose inside the blister card which is pretty cool and then we got the back side which is the exact same as the other figures that we've seen obviously the alien big and shows you the alien action features but um, I think it's because Super 7 and Funko didn't really have anything else to fill the cards with. It would have been cool if they could have put a bio or something, but I guess not. Um, again, this is the uh, Alien Reaction figures from Funko, so that's why the blister cards are black instead of the Kenner Blue style. I'm thinking that if you pre-ordered them at San Diego Comic-Con from Super 7, then you'll be getting the Kenner Blue. And I think that because the early bird package is in the Kenner Blue theme. So why would they make the figures in the different black color? Um, I think that was also an extra bonus for paying the $100 premium from ordering them from Super 7. You're obviously going to be getting an extra exclusive figure, which they still haven't announced yet. But I think you're also going to be getting the exclusive Kenner Blue packaging. So um, that's just what I think is not anything set in stone. Um, but anyways, let's get Ripley open and take a look at her. All right, so here we got Ripley outside of the packaging. And uh, first glance, she's a pretty basic figure, um, way more basic than Kane or the alien. The sculpting details, you can still see quite a bit of sculpting details, but I think it has to do with her costume more than anything. There just isn't anything to have detail on. But there's still wrinkles all over her jumpsuit. Um, you can see the zippers and wrinkles all over the place, pockets. Um, there's not very much paint, but where there is paint, again, it's just absolutely perfect. There's no slop anywhere that I've found. And it's just a wonderful figure. Um, for $15, though, you kind of expect that a uh, figure that's only 3.75 inches tall to be perfect. And these ones are doing it. Um, but there's really not that much details on her. But she's still very similar to the early Star Wars figures. Articulation wise, you got a head that can spin left and right. You can spin it all the way around if you want. And the arms can go forwards and backwards. And the legs have more movement than we've seen the other figures have. You can go backward and forward. And then she also has peg holes. If you got the free stands at San Diego Comic Con, you can put her in those, or she probably fits in other stands. The holes actually seem pretty big though, so I'm not sure how you're gonna fit those in. Um, so Ripley does come with one accessory, and it fits best in her right hand. Um, it's, it's fairly tight in there, but it does come out pretty easily as well if you bump it in the wrong direction. But if you put it in straight, then it stays in there pretty good. But as soon as you turn it anyway, then it's just instantly loose. Um, the other hand, it just doesn't stay in there. Um, some closer detail, though. There's not very much detail on there. It's just a very simple weapon. And it's made of hard plastic, so it's not bendy or anything. It's just hard plastic. A quick size comparison with the Alien... And Kane. Um, Ripley's obviously the shortest. And 
The alien's the tallest. All right, and there you have it. There's a review of Ripley from the Alien Reaction action figure line from Super 7 and Funko. It's another great addition to the line, and I can't wait to open Ash and Dallas. And for all the best action figure and toy news, you can check out actionfigurefury.com. Be sure to join our new toy forums at forums.actionfigurefury.com. And if you're interested in buying these figures, you can check out some of the links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.